Prisoners at a high security correctional centre have been working tirelessly to train desperately needed assistance dogs. And our reporter Lauren Ellis was given exclusive access inside that women's prison as the dogs graduated and met their new owners. Behind the wire fence and heavy security is an unlikely group of dog trainers. When I got him, he was just a nightmare. He was dubbed the monster. Female prisoners who can't be identified turn dog handlers. The program, the largest of its kind in Australia and the first in a women's facility. I learn from Hallie every day. She learns from me. Um, I have post-traumatic stress disorder myself and she has helped me along my journey. Run by Assistance Dogs Australia, eight pups have spent the past six months at the correctional centre. How are handlers selected for the program? Um, we have a, a sort of two-tier approach. Uh, the women apply when they come in and then they're um, evaluated by um, some of our staff and also assistant dogs come in. It's a very rigorous uh, process. Trained to help people living with a disability, autism or PTSD, the dogs are taught advanced skills like how to empty the washing machine, call for help and recognise signs of a panic attack. The ladies have a diary and a routine daily where they have two main sessions every day and everywhere else they go the dog is, is obedient to them and walking calmly by their side. The Pups in Prison program also improves detainee behaviour and well-being. He's lowered my anxiety. I'm not seeing mental health as much anymore. My medication has lowered. Pam's daughter Hayley has spent nine months behind bars. It gives you an idea that through all this heartache and, and the things that have happened in the past, something beautiful is coming out of it and something worthwhile. Congratulations on our behalf for Assistance Dogs Australia behalf. Well done. At a ceremony inside prison grounds, three pups are now ready to graduate. Sit. Good boy. Jodie Tal is one of the grateful recipients. This has been a uh, two and a half year process. It is a bit overwhelming. Her 14 year old son is autistic, a condition that impacts the entire household. What he's looking forward to is being able to be himself mm. with the dog without people judging him because they'll know he needs assistance. Graduating at a separate ceremony in Melbourne is Susie Lucy. Australia's first accredited courthouse dog trained by a detainee at the Queensland prison to support victims. And it's really is restorative justice at work. Her job is to help people as they're giving evidence through the court process. The program now complete, it's time for the prisoners to say goodbye to their much loved companions. I can't imagine jail without her. She really, really helps me through every day. The pups will spend two weeks in intensive training with their new owners before another round of much needed assistance dogs turn criminals into contributors. It's made me feel like I'm a better person. I'm giving back to the community um, because I have taken and I've hurt people. To truly put into oh. words the depth of gratitude, I, I don't can't. know if I ever can. No, I don't think I ever could either. It's just amazing. This will change our life. Yeah, what a terrific program that is. Great report from Lauren Ellis.